Uh, my name is Peter Carrick. I'm running for the Communist Party of British Columbia in the Kamloops North Thompson riding. I've lived in Kamloops since 1980. Uh, finished high school at NORCAM in 91. Uh, started attending Caribou College and through Caribou College I finished a uh, Bachelor of Arts degree uh, through the University of British Columbia in 97. During that time I acquired work as a community support worker working in group homes uh, throughout Kamloops. Um, uh, after I had been doing that for a while I returned to uh, university and uh, TRU had a journalism program uh, so I entered the journalism program and I completed a, a Bachelor of Journalism in 2003. At that time I was recruited by the government, the, um, the union I belonged to, which was the BC Government and Services Employees Union. And I worked as a labor relations officer for them uh, periodically, uh, going back and forth between my group homework and, and um, the union office. And uh, that was very rewarding work. I uh, helped uh, many workers uh, uh, across this area, casino workers, corrections workers, uh, group home workers, healthcare workers, uh, both in helping them uh, interpret and their collective agreements and negotiate collective agreements, uh, and um, helping educate them on their what their rights were. Uh, and uh, 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 while I was an employee there, I um, uh, represented uh, another advocacy organization and unfortunately uh, I made some, uh, unfortunately for my career, I made criticisms of the NDP at the time and my supervisors who were uh, members of the NDP saw fit to end my career at the BCGEU and um, it, uh, it resulted in a human rights uh, complaint and uh, subsequent uh, settlement and after that I, uh, I returned to group home work uh, as a community support worker again and, and uh, met my, my uh, current spouse and uh, we got married and had uh, we have three children together now and uh, I was a stay-at-home dad for for a little while there and then I went into working at Kamloops Transit and uh, became a stay-at-home dad again uh, and then I am currently at the uh, school district uh, as a uh, school bus driver uh, my favorite restaurant is the Lotus Inn uh, it's they got of course a great selection of uh, food our whole family likes Chinese food and it's really easy for our kids to pick out stuff they like and I have a lot of good memories there too uh, our um, uh, high school music program used to hold the occasional banquet there and, and uh, uh, yeah it's a great place it's affordable and great staff too Uh, my top priority is to eliminate poverty. Uh, we live in an incredibly wealthy province and part of the world, uh, but we choose poorly uh, how to distribute the wealth that we, we currently have. Um, uh, as far as specific things, we need to eliminate homelessness. Uh, we need to eliminate the need for food banks. It's not that we're we have a shortage of food. We have a shortage of the the um, the resources to go and purchase that food. Students should pick me over other candidates because there's two types of parties running in my riding. There are parties that support the capitalist system and there's my party which is the only one that stands opposed to the capitalist system. Uh, inherent in capitalism is poverty, unemployment, underemployment, um, uh, institutionalized uh, hunger and desperation and for progressives to continue supporting the least worst option which is usually a Green Party or NDP candidate uh, is only going to encourage maintaining the status quo. Um, unfortunately the uh, the, the Liberal candidate is uh, very likely going to win the riding. So if folks want to really send a message about making systemic change, uh, they should uh, vote for a Communist Party candidate rather than can supporting the status quo candidates and parties. 
Uh, my favorite movie is Hardcore Logo, uh, which is a Canadian kind of a cult classic from about 20 years ago, uh, starring Hugh Dillon. Uh, just a lot of great characters and music in the movie. The most important thing government does, specifically the, the province of BC, is to provide health care. Um, it's uh, the single biggest budget spending item and uh, people count on it and they want it to be universally free, accessible and if anything to extend to include uh, pharmaceuticals um, which are getting way too costly and there's no need for it not to be nationalized frankly. The most important aspect I feel is the uh, the debt load that students are incurring uh, coming out of university. Um, uh, Post-secondary education should be free. Uh, there are many advanced countries and even uh, other uh, in, in Europe and even some in the Middle East who uh, have the wealth and the desire to pay for the entire post-secondary education and also ensure that the students who are attending university aren't living in poverty while they're doing so. I like taking friends and family uh, up the uh, North Thompson Valley there. Uh, if you head off a bit to the west, there's the Bonaparte Plateau and lots of great lakes, Mason Lake and Allen Lake and a handful of other great little fishing lakes there. And then of course the Barrier Lakes on the, towards the east, uh, great kayaking opportunities, uh, like world class um, for flat water, really accessible to families and especially my family with the little kids, they, they love being out on the kayaks. Well, uh, I, I'll go back to the fact that post-secondary education should be free um, and uh, there's, there's no need and in fact it's very harmful to have people coming out of university with uh, an intense uh, debt load uh, where uh, it forces them often to take a career path uh, uh, which is not uh, aligned with their educational experience.